Welcome to Serif Draw Plus. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to the Draw Plus workspace and the basic tools that you'll need to get started. When you first open Draw Plus, you'll be greeted by the Startup Wizard. This helps us to quickly start new drawing or animation projects, import a PDF for editing, view sample files, or open the most recent projects. It also provides access to the Draw Plus tutorials. We'll create a new drawing project. Let's have a look at the workspace. On the left we have the Tools toolbar. Here you'll find most of the tools you need for drawing lines, painting, creating shapes and inserting pictures. At the top of the workspace we have the Standard toolbar. This gives us quick access to commonly used functions such as save, copy, cut, paste and so on. Below this is the context toolbar. This displays the controls to adjust the properties of the tool that is currently selected. When nothing is selected on the page and the pointer tool is active, it displays the page's context toolbar. This allows us to manage page settings. I'll just change the page orientation. On the right of the workspace, we have various tabs that will allow us to quickly set the properties of lines, shapes and objects. At the bottom we have the hint line which gives us useful information and tips and the view toolbar. OK, let's start drawing. Let's start by selecting the paintbrush tool. As you can see, the context toolbar has updated to display the paintbrush controls. For now, I'll just adjust my line width. When I click and drag, the brush stroke is applied to the page. I can set the colour of my brush stroke before painting by going to the colour tab. The colour of strokes and lines is set via the line swatch. To change the colour, I click a point on the outer ring to set the hue and then click inside the triangle to set the saturation. Draw Plus has many different brush styles which we can select from the brushes tab. You can edit brush strokes that you've already created by selecting them with the pointer tool and then adjusting the properties. Let's now look at the pencil tool. The pencil tool uses the same principles to draw lines on a page. This time however, we'll use the swatches tab to select a colour. Next, we'll add a shape. The quick shapes flyout provides a selection of shapes that you can add with a simple click and drag process. As you can see, the shape's outline has adopted the line colour that we set for our pencil line. We can easily change this using either the swatches or the colour tab. To apply a colour to the inside of the shape, we first select the fill swatch and then select our colour. A gradient fill can be applied using the fill tool. Alternatively, you can choose one of the gradient presets from the swatches tab. Once applied, these can be customised at any time by selecting the fill tool and then adjusting the various controls on the context toolbar. You can also apply gradient transparency in the same way by using the transparency tool or the transparency tab. Overall opacity of the line or fill of a shape is varied by using the control on the colour tab. Draw Plus also makes it easy to add text. Select the text tool, drag on the page to set the size and then start typing. You can modify text properties by using a combination of the context toolbar and the other tabs to apply various colours and effects. The Styles tab contains a wide range of presets and effects that can be applied to virtually any object in Draw Plus. The Pointer tool is used to select, move and resize any object on your page. Click the Pointer tool 
and then click the object that you want to work with. To move an object, either drag directly on it or drag the move button that displays in the upper left corner. Drag on one of the handles to resize the object. You can also rotate an object by moving the pointer next to a corner handle and then dragging when you see the rotate cursor. On the gallery tab, you'll find a wide range of ready-made objects, clip art, symbols and other things for you to use in your projects. Once inserted, you can adjust and recolour these objects at any time. There's a lot more to Draw Plus than I can show in this quick start guide. If you need help with the tools, make sure that you open the How To tab. This displays a relevant help topic for the tool that you've selected. You can also click any links to view the topics that you're interested in. If you need more information, see the How To tab, Draw Plus Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.